fuck these guys are talking about. Okay. So Beznickel is terrorist. They're doing a long B rush. Okay. So first thing first, I mean, it's not really the fault of him. I would have just gone out long B like everyone with Glocks, but it's not really his fault because it's a pug. So we're just going to focus primarily on what himself as an individual can do um, based off of the real-time actions of his teammates and everything. So here he gets the, he gets the assist on that. Let's come up here. Looking for this gun in this position can get you killed. Like, fuck the gun, dude. Just keep your Glock. Get underneath heaven. Like, if you push up into this position here and you have your Glock and you clear out the pit and everything, you're just much better off with the Glock up close than you are with the USP. So here you're just looking around for a gun. And that guy could have killed you there if he didn't absolutely fucking blow monkey dick. So you got really lucky in that situation. And there's a lot of you just like running around looking at the ground, looking for guns, throwing decoys on the ground. Just find yourself a good post plant situation, like position to be in. One being, where's my mouse cursor? One being like right around this area here, underneath the heaven, or another being like right back here in this wall. I don't know why my crosshair isn't showing up. Um, those are both good positions to be in, but you're just like running around. And in, the, in that period of time that you're running around, CTs could rotate around to CT spawn in heaven and just shoot you. So, that doesn't really make much sense. You're pushing aggressive, but it's a 4 and 2, so that kill that you're getting there isn't really impact. And this one as well, it's not really a high impact kill. I guess at the end there, it's alright because you're just heavy, like doing a heavy pressure onto the counter terrace. And it's going to make sure that he's too flustered to be able to win the round but for the most part pushing at the end of the round there does nothing but pad your stats so at the end of the game you know you're 17 16 those two kills they, they didn't mean anything like they didn't actually help your team win the round your team was going to win the round regardless you just got two extra kills on the on the stat page which does nothing for your team so you have to be careful not to get in the habit of doing those types of plays where you just get these non-impact frags because if you rely on statistics and you know you want to go to a team and you say, hey, look at my stats, it's, it's not going to paint the full picture. So come out long B. Let's see if I get all the kills. Oh, look. Long B again. So what, what you did there was actually, I don't know if you planned it, but it was actually smart. What you did is, because you knew your teammates were coming through the pipe as well, or at least if I, I'm just going to assume that you knew that your teammates were coming through the pipe as well. So if your teammates are coming through the pipe as well, and you run across here, and you make it yourself as hard of a target as possible for you to hit, because the counter charts are looking at you now, then your teammates are able to come from the side here, and all the counter charts are going to be looking this way at you just running across the screen and your teammates are going to come out and just get all the kills. So that was actually smart, whether it was deliberate or not. So you're, you're coming through the door, but it's all smoked off and you have no teammates outside B, like you have nobody in this position outside B or holding long B. So the enemies could be, they could be boosted up here, they could be short B at this position, they could be up here. They could even be on the other side of the smoke here. If I'm you, I'd just be sitting back like what your teammate's doing. Just sit back here and wait because your teammates are pushing up here and your teammates are pushing through long specifically. Let your teammates push through and clear this angle and then start pinching on connector before you do anything. You don't need to do anything in this position. So right now you're just lost in the smoke, and if there's a CT on the other side of it, you could have gotten yourself killed. Your teammates have gone up long, and you're just solo clearing everything. It... Again, if the CTs are... Okay, this, this position, like, okay, maybe the other thing I can't really save for a fact, like, hey, that's, that's probably not a good decision, but this one right here, you do not want to peek this, uh, this, okay, I'm gonna call this death alley. If you're anywhere in 
this position here, this is Death Alley for the terrorists. You do not want to be here. This is completely unnecessary to be here. The only reason why you should ever be in this vicinity whatsoever is just to make sure that nobody from the counter side is hiding here. That's the only, only time you're there. Otherwise, you're coming into the bathrooms, and if you're executing on A, you're coming out here. Reason being, this is how far you have, you have to be up as a terrorist. But they can see you all the way, if a counter terrorist is back here, they can see you all the way back here, okay? So it's this distance between here and here, which takes about four seconds to run. It's four seconds extra that you're actually exposed to any counter terrorist in the bomb site. That's very, very, very risky. This is Death Valley. It's four seconds of death. Four seconds of death. So you want to avoid this if possible. Luckily they're not boosted, they're not peeking in front of that site smoke, they're not peeking anything at all, they're not peeking by long, they're not boosted up on the sign, they're not playing close by bathrooms. There's so many angles there that you could have been killed from that it doesn't, it's, the risk reward isn't worth it. And here, you're walking around the corner and your teammates are already pushed up, your teammates are already needing the bomb site. The enemy knows that you're up close here. At this point, like when you're getting to the stairs, it doesn't matter if you walk or not because the enemy already knows you're there. When you walk peak an area, you're moving very slowly and it's a, an easy target for an enemy to hit if you're walk peeking things as opposed to jiggle peeking and f checking all the angles. The other thing is you're not actually clearing the angles, you're just walking around and your crosser isn't really set in any specific position. You're not trying to clear out angles, you're just like walking around and seeing if if uh, the enemy misses on you basically. Okay, that smoke, it's actually not bad. Your teammate right now, what he should be doing is running into the bomb site and planting here. And with that smoke that you just threw down, you should run over to your right. So you should be running over to this corner here and making sure that any counter terrorists who are trying to push through that, you just kill them. You just sit in this position right here. That's all you have to do at this, at this point in time. You don't have to do anything else. Jumping up here, you don't need to do. Pulling out nades, you don't need to do. You're up close. You're up close in front of the enemy. You're pulling out nades, that's a sure way to get yourself killed. You don't need to be doing any of that. That guy just ran through the smoke and got himself killed. Again, you just being up here is, is allowing the enemy to win the round. Here, you died unnecessarily. You should be where your teammate is here, or in the bathrooms, or at this headshot angle, or backed up with your teammate at long. There's no reason for you to be anywhere on this part of the line it doesn't make sense at all okay so you see them pushing and you I'm gonna go back to that one more time just because I didn't fully see what was going on there So you're coming down the ladder, and you see them, and you have a smoke nade and double flash. I would just hold an angle where they have to push all the way up to like this point here before they can see you. So I'd play almost at, at this panel by the electric board and just hold for people to push me. Your teammate should have gotten the hell out of there as well. So that just blows. Because you weren't in a position to deal with that. You want to try to isolate them so that when, when they push at you, when the enemy's actually pushing at you through this hallway, you want to make so they can't have three people back here all shooting you all at the same time and you're back here. Because now, you know, it's a one on three engagement. You want to put yourself in a position where if they're coming through here, they're funneling themselves, where it's three people coming at you one by one by one, and it's three almost individual engagements where you can just sit there holding mouse one and kill them as they're all just running into your crosshair and into your gunfire. That's the angle you want to take, not back here, where if you're back here taking this angle, then you know they could just be back here, three people. Why? Whatever. You know what I mean. So 
so you're spotting the smoke, you can't really do anything, so you're spotting your teammates rushing through bathrooms, but you're gonna go up and you're gonna come back around to long B. I don't specifically know why you would just give up that area and come back to long B. Like you could have been at long B at the start. And your teammates are all dead. So you're gonna have to try to make a play with your teammate. Bombs down. I would just go try to meet up with your teammate, but your teammates are walking around to long A for some reason. I don't know why. We should have just stayed at the bathrooms and supported you, so there's not much you could have done there. Um, having said that, had you been in connector the, the entire time when your teammates are all dying here, you could have just run back up to Fountain, which is probably the safer thing, because now you can meet up with your teammate who's doing God knows what over at A, and you could have actually done things together and collected the bomb over here, as opposed to walking up this pipe where enemies can be in one of various locations around here. Just, I'm just, they could be boosted on here for whatever reason. Like there's a lot of angles to clear. You have to get past that point, up past this point, and then again, they could be in, you know, all of these angles. And you're just, this is, you know, look at all these angles that this, the counter tries could be at, potentially. Whereas if you come up this way, and you come up to the bathrooms, Everything is, you just clear out a position, you take control of it. So everyone is just in front of you. Anyone who's that way is in front of you. And you don't have to cover your back, you don't have to come out here and clear out all of this. You don't have to come up here and clear out like people being in all sorts of positions behind the stairwell and everything. So in that situation, I just would have gone back through T-spawn to your teammate. And you've already gone through T-spawn once to go to B. I mean. It's not that it's something that you wouldn't think about doing. Looks like you guys are just going to win this round. Again, 3 versus 2. Just get to a better position here. You don't really need to do anything crazy. Um, looks like you just want to push into CT. Especially if you do a rush, let's say the, the counter terrorist had like one guy in CT spawn still. When you guys are coming out long B and he rotates to heaven or he rotates to CT spawn instantly and you're just caught off there running up trying to push into CT spawn for a good position, it's just an easy kill for him to make and equalize the round a little bit. It's not really worth it the worth it at that point when you already have a man advantage. I understand if you're a man down, you want to try to get into an aggressive position, push up, try to take advantage, uh, aggressive position, maintain control of this area and get the kills on the, the people. That makes sense if you're a man down, but if you're a man up, you want to keep your advantage. And it's very important in CS, as well as other games, is maintaining your advantage. You just saw him. So we're coming out through long by yourself and your teammates are all going towards A. So I almost went like, okay, it makes sense if you're trying to do like a fake here and you're trying to like flash and make a distraction. But I wouldn't even try to peek out too far. I would just try to like make a little bit of distraction and hold back in here. Because your teammates are all on the other side of the map. So it doesn't matter what you're able to do here. Your teammates aren't going to be able to capitalize off of it at all. Like the CTs, whoever you kill, are going to be able to rotate back to here before your teammates are able to rotate back here. Okay? Like... So you try to go for the kill, you can't get it, and you fall back. This is an appropriate reaction. You sit back here, and you're going to hold for the B pushes. You don't need to re-aggress here yet. Your teammates are still taking control of bathrooms. You don't need to do this yet. You need your teammates to get a kill at A, and force one of the CTs to rotate back from B to A before you're able to walk out B. 
So if the CTs are playing this properly, you shouldn't be able to get a kill here. He's not playing it properly. He's not in a good position to deal with, with your aggression. You're in the B bomb site, you should be calling your teammates to come back, like instantly. But again, it's a pug, so maybe you don't have that kind of camaraderie uh, down yet. How the CTs are allowing you to just walk up here like this is mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling how they allow you to do this. This, if you try to play in a league, so if you try to play in a league match, this won't work. If you try playing a pug against someone who's better than what these opponents currently are, it's not going to work. I'll tell you that much right now. So you're getting out long B. There aren't ecos, so this is okay. And what you're doing here is good, where you're just sitting back in the pit the entire time outside of monster. That's exactly what you need to be doing. Um, you guys have killed like three of them, and you're just running over them because they're an eco. Running out long B here. You're doing it by yourself, and this time the enemies have actually smoked you and throwing things at you. You've just run out here like three rounds in a row. I would just say, you know what, I've just done it a few rounds in a row. I made it out with success. You should count your blessings and say, fuck it. If they're going to start throwing smokes or anything at me, I'm not going to go out. Right here, I don't see you getting more than, you know, this kill on this guy at all. One for one trade. In the grand scheme of things, not the worst of trades like that's not bad for your team it's just the amount of times that's going to happen in your favor that play is going to work out in your favor is such a small fraction such a small fraction it shouldn't happen like that if you're running out long b pipe through a smoke you should be getting punished you shouldn't be getting any kills at all so you should have known okay once i see that smoke i'm going to stop Again, counter terrorists aren't really doing a good job of preventing this to ha preventing this from happening. Like they should be smoking you off here, and you shouldn't be able to get any kills at all. Um, the other thing to notice is both you and your teammate came up short, and no one's really sticking around in short B and watching for a flank. And we can already see that there is a counter terrorist trying to flank you already. So either you or him needs to just sit back and and hold for this. Or at a better angle, like here, and just hold for this. But again, it's it seems as though it seems as though you've only got one gear. It's like you're just going. That's it. That's all you can do. Just go. There's nothing that stops you. It's like your W key is stuck, and you just need to run everywhere. And you need to get to the next position. You kill someone in this position. You get to the next position. It's not one of those like arcade things where you have that gun. And then your player automatically moves for you and you go to the next position and you kill everyone there and then you go to the next position and you kill everyone there. That's not how Counter-Strike is. So you need to be careful not to run in, like create these bad habits where you're just automatically pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. And you get a kill and you push further and you get a kill and you push further. Because that's how you end up losing rounds. So I don't know what the fuck the CTs are doing on any of these rounds at B, but it's it's not good. And again, you're pushing to CT spawn, and again, the CTs could have been here and killed you. And again, you're just... <laughs> like, it's almost cocky, I'd say, at this point. And that flash isn't really doing much either because it's just going so deep that it doesn't even affect half of the CTs that are playing the bomb site. So here, like, they already have a few people looking at you. And again, you're here by yourself. For no one's here to ensure that you get a trade kill or anything like that. So this is very, like, individually scrimmy play. You're not actually doing anything for your team. 
Um, like if you get a kill, cool. It, your team can't capitalize off of it though at all. And especially against an eco like this or force buy or whatever they're doing, you're just going to end up feeding them an AK, which isn't good for your team. So being in this position here is actually detrimental to your team's success. And you end up with no kills, you feed them an AK, they take control of B and they're going to rotate to A and have a good chance at winning the round. So you just cost your team the round there. So here, this is the first time you've knocked on B, you've come towards long. You haven't cleared anything again here. You're not coming out and clearing all the angles methodically. You're not really throwing flashes or anything. You're just like running in one gear, just holding W the entire way through. And you're not waiting for your teammates. You're not throwing any smokes into specific locations or flashes or anything like that. Um, so we're coming in. Got the one, uh, you didn't even get the kill there. I mean, you guys need to slow it down and just, just say, okay, we have the smoke down. Let's like work the trades properly. Let's jiggle peek. Let's clear all the angles properly. But you're not doing any of that. It's like, you're just running in there. So I'll go into a server afterwards and show you a few things that I've seen so far on your T side. On CT side, you're coming like solo aggressive into short B, and if they just rush here, you're dead. If they rush connector, you're dead. There's n Again, you're not playing with any teammates, you're not playing a crosshair setup or anything like that. You're just running around, you're getting from one location, as soon as you're at that location is clear, you move on to the next. And it's like you don't know how to just sit still and, and wait for the enemy to make the, the next mistake and capitalize off of that. You're, you're just standing on the open, like, you could get behind the rock and get more cover, you could play behind the long wall and have more cover, it's a 2v2 at this point, and you're just out here forcing an engagement, which is okay, because it's long range and you have armor, but there's, like, even in this engagement, okay, to take this engagement, one versus one, you have armor, USP, long range, that's okay, but the position that you're in currently, being out just in the open here, as opposed to being behind this rock or by this wall where you peek through this crack. It just doesn't make sense. And if these guys knew how to aim, like you'd be dead three times over. And now your teammate dies at A and they know exactly where you're coming from. So you guys end up losing the pistol. You're missing your teammate here. Again, you're, you're just pushing through. You're clearing from one area to the next. And while, okay, here it's an eco. You can afford to take a gamble like this and push through and find information. But it's, it's not just that it's an eco here. You've been doing it every single round. It just happens as though you've undeliberately made a good play by pushing through and getting all this advanced information for your teammates to stack A. Again, you're just pushing through. You don't really have any set like you're not, you're not thinking about the plays you're making. You're just doing it. You're just holding W and just going. So you really need to learn how to just be more disciplined and just hold a location down and stack a site and just be composed. So here you're the only person. Okay, your your teammates are stacked up on short sandbags, looking to short B. Right now, you should be in a position to make sure that they can't get, the enemy can't get out long here and shoot your teammates on the side. And you in this position, you can't stop that from happening. That's going to happen and you can't do anything about it. 
you need to be closer to the barrels, you need to be getting a smoke instead of the flashes, or you need to just be pre-flashing that. Like right now, your teammates can be getting killed on the side. Now they finally said, okay, well, I, I hear the flashes coming out from the T's, let's unstack. So they, they made a good decision to get the fuck out of that setup that they were in. But here, still, like, you just heard an op there, you heard a rifle there, your teammates shooting at them and throwing a flash at them, and the T's are flashing at you, and you're still just sitting in heaven, where an opera can just come out and just bop you. Or the terrorists are going to be in that monster pit area and just have a, a headshot angle on you with AKs. And it's just, it doesn't make sense why you just play an A map like this when you had like five, six seconds to jump into the pit and take a good position there. It doesn't make sense. Again, you just push through, you got lucky that no nobody was here on your way through. You're pushing through, you're lucky that no one's here on your way through. Like if there's one terrorist that's standing around in connector or outside B holding for rotations, like ninety-eight percent of teams do, then you're just dead. So the only reason why it worked for you was because they're on uh, because this is a pug and they're playing with minimal teamwork. That's the only reason why that play worked for you right there. You play against a pug where there's, you know, someone who lurks or, you know, knows that they need to just hold a certain location down or you play against a team, that play doesn't work for you at all. It's, it's done, it's over. So here you come, you see the smoke, you go to CT spawn, you see the smoke and you're just like, okay, what the fuck do I do? Being in heaven is probably, uh, it's an okay, it's okay, you can look for the kills, but I mean, already the time sticking down, I would just say fuck it, just run off and save. Uh, killing them, I mean, it does some economic damage to them, so I guess that's, that's okay, but, like I could have been pushing up CT and killing you the entire time, oh my god, oh my fucking god. Like, you should just be running the fuck out of there, you should be saving that off, if that guy doesn't know, like, if that guy knows how to use his headset, to find out where you are, again, it's not good. You lose that up. Not a good position for you to be in. Dude, they could be like right on your screen. What are you doing? You're just rotating with a knife out. Oh, shoot the box, dude. You can get them. One versus four, so you're gonna run off and save. I'm just coming back towards A. You have flashes and nade. Um, I guess it's an okay position to be in. Oh my god. Oh god. Wait, do you have... N Okay, you bought out. So, anytime you have an off, you sit back and you post. Anytime you have a rifle or a pistol, you just hold W and you don't stop. You can't stop, won't stop. If you knew that the enemy was rushing towards B, out, and you push all the way through long, like this, I would have just committed to the big flank. Instead, you came out through short. Where again, if the terrorists are smart, they play in you know one of these different positions, and you're fucked. Oh my god, they're not even looking for you. They don't. How do they not account for that? How they not? How they don't account for that is just beyond me. Okay, so you're.
you're AFK. Nice. Good round one, dude. Good round one. Dude, you have 4,300 bucks remaining and you bought M4 armor. That's it. Dude, fuck the AK. You know the enemy's right there. Fuck the AK. You don't need it. And keep your gun out. Make sure that area is clear. I mean, cool, you're behind all of them, but you just gave up the entire bomb site because you just did a push all the way through long and you weren't in any position to help your teammate. You didn't establish a crossfire, you went there to trade kills. So even though that you have good positioning now and you're behind the terrorists, you're at a two-man disadvantage and you forfeit the control of the bomb site already. So you got one kill, they know where you are. You still at a man disadvantage. Bombs planted. And they have good post plants. So you pretty much you're pretty much fucked in this round. There's not much you can do here. Again, you're at long by yourself. You're pushing all the way through. Your nearest teammate is at short. If you die there's no one to trade it. If he dies, there's no one to trade it. If you die and they run to the bomb site, if you die here and they run to the bomb site, you're fucked. If your teammate dies and they run to the bomb site, you're fucked. And let me guess, you're just gonna push all the way through if you don't see anyone. You're in grass position here. You have to take the engagement. There's nothing you can do about it. If you don't win the engagement, your teammate loses the round. Okay, so they suck. They're not gonna flash and Punish you for it, even though they had four people around that corner. You're able to switch your positions around. You got incredibly lucky there. That should never happen. And you're going to re peek long. You just. So you pushed up long. You were lucky enough to get a kill on one of the terrorists here. You fell all the way back to where your teammates were. And instead of getting back towards A, you run back out towards long, where you know that the enemy, f one, knows where you're at, and two, to where they're at it doesn't make much sense so you know they're there I'll just again just get the fuck out of there no 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 no. okay so you're just in the bathrooms you're in the bathrooms you saw the enemy at the rock you knew that he was here instead of staying where you had some form of cover you just ran out into the open which exposes you to more angles from terrorists so now there's two people shooting at you instead of just one you're an easier target to hit because now it's your whole body. You have nowhere to hide for cover, and they've got like this mighty white guy. He's got a rock to hide behind, and that guy has a rock to hide behind. So they can both unpeak, and you can't do anything to them at all. The fact that you got that kill there is just beyond lucky. Beyond lucky. Okay, so you guys on that I guess. Uh, um, so I'm gonna go move it, move it. so uh, give weapon when you're coming out long, like first of all, you should just be sitting back here until your teammates over at A are pushed up, let's say, to this point here, where they're making a distraction and they're causing the B guys to want to rotate out. Then what you want to do is you just want to...
come out and you're going to walk out long B, make sure no one's on the right, and then clear the left. And you want to clear out all the angles methodically, and then you, you want to isolate the amount of angles you can be shot by all, like, all at the same time. So using this pillar is a great way to make sure that you can't get shot from heaven when you're out in the middle of the pit. And now you can clear barrels, and that's clear, and you clear out CT and everything. Now you can peek out towards heaven. You can peek out towards the water pit and everything. But instead, what you were doing is you were just like running straight out the pipe, and you're just coming straight out here, and then you were like coming around the bomb site, and then you're pushing straight up here. And it was just one gear. Go. Uh, so that's one thing that you have to be worried about. Another thing is, every time your teammates were doing a B hit, you always came up through short, and you always just jumped out and you got really lucky when you're coming out here. Most CT teams are just going to end up smoking this if there's B pressure and sitting like a guy back here or back here or at the back of the water pit like this, either in this position or this position. And if you try doing that, they're just gonna end up just annihilating you if you try doing one of those plays. So that doesn't work either. Over at A, you're doing too much solo things. Like, okay, if you're if you're in here, you should be taking this angle only. This angle and this angle only. Because now it's a one-on-one -on -one engagement. You've wide peaked like this to fight a guy up at the close rock and you expose yourself to all this as well. So if there's a terrorist anywhere along here, you're dead. But beyond that, you pushed up all the way up here, you got a kill, you're able to miraculously get away from all that, you got to safety, your teammate was in the connector right here, and instead of just saying, all right, like, can you flash for me or something? Or like flashing for yourself, either like that or maybe even just like this. And just like peeking out and getting out of there. You came back to challenge out long. And that doesn't really make much sense because you're just making yourself an easy target for the enemy to get a kill on and to equalize things. One of the rounds you're just playing in heaven when your teammates were boosted sandbag so your teammates were doing a boost here to watch short B and what could happen is the enemy could just like walk out long or run out long and come and kill your teammates here and you can't see anything because this pillar this pillar is protecting the enemy you can't see into long if your teammates are doing that you need to flash this you need to get up into a position like this or behind the barrels where you peek up and down every now and then and just make sure that this is clear so that your teammates can do this boost One of the rounds you you peeked from sh from short, and there's a smoke in the site somewhere, but the enemies could have been boosted here. You're dead. They could have been boosted here. You're dead. They could have been peeking in front of the site like this. You're dead. They could have been over here. You're dead. They could have been, um, you know, fucking just about anywhere, and you're dead. They could have just even because that was smoke. They could have just been like this or something. You're just dead. There's just so many angles where you're just dead. So you need to be careful when you're running up this this death alley area. You just need to come in through the bathrooms, and then when you're in the bathrooms and your teammates are throwing smokes and everything on the site, like here, it's just one angle that you have to be worried about. But here, it's like they're boosted. They're over there, they have ops. They're like it's just it's just the death alley. Um, what else? Oh yeah, when you were down in the connector, or in the underground, and you jumped across and you saw them, you were like fighting from back here, I would have just gone here like right away, and then as they're pushing through, you just sit here and you just hold mouse, uh, you sit here and you just hold mouse one, and you kill them as they're pushing through, because they're going to be pushing through one by one in a train, and they're all just going to die, die, and die. But when they're all back here, all just staring at you with pistols and shooting you like this, and you're back at this angle here, you're just, I mean, you're just an easy target for them. Anyways.